I think I've reached chapter 10 of the, in the story of the Queen of Beauty, but not much progress. Well, <laughs> it's one of those static uh, uh, stories. It's not uh, James Bond. Uh, what's the latest? Never die again, Mom. Um, the background, previous episodes, I mentioned, keep mentioning, to boost my morale, uh, to improve my morale. Um, um, revolution, big change, took part in it, in the crowd led by Andrei Finzi, so let me pay homage there, express my admiration again at the Roman Square. Then work for some media outlets, as in assistant, translating, doing whatever uh, was required. Um, got a car, wonderfully special because of the period, it was... Um, this was a third world country. I'm not. I don't know what it is now. <laughs> uh, no, I, things changed dramatically. No traffic then. Very very heavy traffic now. One change. Millions of cars. Then very few. Ninety-nine percent of them Dacia. So with an Audi, no matter that it was ten, fifteen years old, it was like. The <clears throat> chariot of the king or emperor in the past, or a private jet today. So that attracted attention and that ensured a huge amount of success among many women. Success being relative, meaning sex at that time, which was always on my mind. Um, some unfortunate events. A series of unfortunate cars stolen, then we were attacked at Black Sea. Smashed windows, then a big, big, big idiots, policemen that made things worse. Okay. And then I meet uh, this uh, tall, dark stranger, as in the movie by Woody Allen. You will meet a tall, dark stranger. Um, and um, she says in the car that she's uh, queen of beauty. She's won the, the competition, that uh, beauty pageant. And I say I'm the Maharaja of Bengal or something, because I think it's a joke. She goes to her hometown in Moldova and she returns and I open my heart and uh, lay it at her feet or something. We see each other for a while. I take her to see this Petre Gheorghiu, this uh, professor of acting. And one day, that's the last episode, when I return to the city, well, downtown, so to say, but still in the capital. This one comes comes in front of me. I don't know why I think she was drunk. Maybe something was said, the witness of the accident. Maybe that's the only reason or justification we can find for her, just crossing the street on the red light for her. The fact is, that was... Um, um, a very unfortunate event for me, never mind a broken leg. And, uh, I take her to the hospital and I understand that this is a place where the other patients, some of them coming from accidents, uh, know the drill and um, uh, teach the lessons to arrive, new arrivals. You've been in an accident, okay. A car? What kind of car? I mean, what kind of car? A new car? Dacia. 
Yeah, a, a foreign car. Well, foreign car, you have to ask for big money. Yeah, but I was um, to blame. I, I, they say I never mind that. <laughs> That's the way the system works. I'm not. I'm just speculating. I, I, this is this surely happened. Uh, then it might happen today. I wish I used this because a few weeks ago, I don't think it's a month already, I was uh, run over by a car. Being on the bike, that's what I use today. I drive the car once, on average, once every two months or three. That is three, four times a year. And even that, it, uh, it is because I have two... <laughs> once I, w I went to vote, and I couldn't ride uh, the bike because of the weather. It was raining or something. And then using the metro is um, subway is dangerous now with the pandemic. And the other time I had to take it for the annual um, checkup for the stamp for, to show it's operational. It's in good shape. So, run down by a new boat driver. And I forgave him, regretting it because immediately <laughs> after I went on him, because I saw the uh, part was broken and the bike was not <laughs> working. So I said, fuck, I should have asked at least, I don't know, 100 lay, 200 lay for the repair. But anyway. And then there's the accident with a French idiot woman from the French embassy. And not just the French embassy, she was, uh, when I saw the number, but it, again, it came a bit late. I mean, when she hit me and threw me off the f road, I mean, on the road, off the bike, down on the asphalt, uh, she had temporary plates. But then a few weeks later, I see that she's from the embassy, and not just that, she has 102 in the number which shows uh, the American embassy, generally at the embassies, and I'm pretty sure at the French embassy too, that that's the second in, in charge. 101 is for the ambassador, 102 would be for the second. And the American embassy would be for the deputy chief of mission. Okay. Uh, that will be for later, when we reach stories with the fucking French high school, Lycée Francais, with pompous asses, revolting characters. Like, let me finish with this the, the, for now. For the, she, she, she runs me over and she comes out of the car, the driver, who was not, I mean, she was looking f to the left to see if, if something's coming f f to put her in danger, I mean, uh, to be, to come in a, but never mind, there's a bicycle here, and fucking idiot, you're coming from France, you're supposed to, that's the attitude they have, we're teaching you how to be here, because we're civilized, we're, we're uh, uh, creme de la creme, uh, uh, de la démocratie, liberté, égalité, nous sommes si sophistiqués, si raffinés, si, oh, enculé, uh, and, and, and she comes, uh, make me quame, it's the same. And she was like, hit me, get off and get running, you fucking moron. Uh, to me, I mean, she, and instead of showing some pitié, quelque chose de emotionnel, de connard. Anyway, I'm uh, We were talking nice things, a quinette bit. So, accident. She was splendid, the queen, then. So, that's good because I, apart from <laughs> remembering idiotic French episodes, um, I must and I will remember her kindness, her gentleness, her devotion, her loyalty, her, her friendship, her affection, her love, maybe even love, because Indeed, so this happened, I took the woman to the... Uh, uh, and then, probably, eventually I returned, though, to take her from the professor to... But she comes with me, she comes with me to a, a police station, where she uses this... Uh, she, she says, somehow, I'm... Uh, uh, Nana, let's say. 
no, 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 by this time nobody is watching, I can divulge some secrets in there. Plus, this is one, not, no fear here of being uh, sued for libel. I'm not saying she's mean, she's uh, um, vicious. On the contrary, she was that, in many episodes, and this is one, she was so lovely, so... Uh, uh, kind, gentle. She came to the and she used, uh, tried to use uh, her, her aura, her title, her position, her new gain position, um, uh, to help me. Uh, this is my friend, and this thing happened, and how can we? Uh, Miss will give him a. Um, did I have it suspended? Until they checked for 15 days? And then they return it because they saw there's nothing there. I mean, I mentioned in the previous episode, the woman sued me. And it took two years, three years, I don't know, for the case to be... Uh, uh, in court. Uh, okay, delayed because she has uh, no lawyer. Okay, well, uh, the next hearing will be in two months' time, and they have time to hire a lawyer. Okay, she's not here. Another two months, maybe she was sick, we'll see. If, uh, another, I mean, it's um, in a way unbelievable. In the end, it was um, clear. Uh, I won, so to say, but... Uh, fact is, uh, the Queen of Beauty was was um, majestic. I mean, she she did. She, she was um, supportive, helpful as much as she could. She came to the station. She could have said, "Oh, sorry for you. That's it." And now she can. She went it. Uh, wonderful. Well, come to think of it, I I insisted on the. On the breakdown at the end, on speculating on, well, maybe she needed a driver. Uh, but no, no. Uh, there was more to it than that. Um, and anyway, as they say in those uh, uh, romantic novels, even being there close to her and having this kindness poured over, for no matter reason, it was... Um, bliss enough. Seven stages to achieve eternal bliss. I just ended a note on that stupid movie. <clears throat> well, stupid. I have incomprehensible for this guy. So maybe it's my fault. Probably it's in, at least in some part, large part, my own inability to understand. Um, the comedy. So yeah, it's better to have loved and failed, what's that called, than never to have loved at all. And she was great, she was great. Gratitude. Your Highness.